Uh oh. What's up, everybody? We're back. Keep saying we, right? Me and God. All right, there we go. You say it like that. There we go. <laughs> What's up, good people? Everybody feel good? You're looking good? You're feeling good? It's Monday. It's Monday. Monday, we came to get it in, man. So bring all that good energy up in here. It's going to be a good night. What's up, Jennifer? I see you, Karen. Fax 100, Elaine B in the house. What's up, Honey B. Lee? Blind is off. Fax 100. What's up, William Parks? What's up, champ? What's up, Jim? David Alexander. Jay Waters in the house. What's up, Miss CFP? How you feeling? Yes. Shout out to my moderators. Keep the keep the chat respectful and lovable. Yes, indeed, good people. What's going on? We starting off a new week. I see you, Janet Cross. We starting off a new week, Lady Virgo. China doll. She landed. There you go. She doing big things. There go Audrey. Shout out to Audrey, y'all. Shout out to everybody that sent me messages. The scent flowers. Can I say thank you to Audrey? Guys, sent flowers to the funeral. Thank you so much for everybody that inboxed me, that showed love, that made posts about me and the family wishing us comfort. Man, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You are the real MVP. What's up, Janet Cross? Everybody, come on in and hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Do it just like that. Facebook family, say what's up. What's up, Miss CFP? Audrey, believe in miracles, came through. Kimberly Artis. My man, Mark, what's up, JBE162? Green Cream in the house. Zena Powell, what's up, Zena? Nancy Franklin. Ayola, Ayola. What's going on? What's up, Trudy? Daybreak 76, C. Marie Walker. Nurse H in the house. Daniel Vito. What's up, Daniel Vino? Jay's in the house. What's up, Shawnee? Keisha Spady. Luis or Lois. How you feeling? Is that you, Edith? Hmm. What's up, Dorothy? How you doing, Dorothy? I see you, Lady Virgo. Beyond Bless in the house. My man Mark came through. What's up, Lorraine T? Leela Abbey. Connie Flores. Woo, is that you, MJ? Valerie Jewel. Come on in, family. Come on in. Carolina Breeze came through. Yep. Is that you, Value Val? Value Val. What's up, Zena? Lawless in the house. What's up, Lawless? Dorothy. What's up, Dorothy? That you, Kanita. Tell them what you did to the light, Kanita. Yeah, I remember we used to be beating that like up. I see you, MJ. Young Chaos in the building. 
I see you. That was the name of my first band, Chaos Funk. <laughs> Who man, I was the drummer. My little brother was a Congo player. My cousin Mark was the keyboard player. My cousin Tony was the singer. Whew, good gracious. We knew one song, y'all. I think we were in the, I think I might have been in the fifth grade. They were in the fourth and third. So, yeah, we were doing it. <laughs> Woo, the black eyes in the demon form. Wow. Had a talk with it. And man, China, you got to tell us about it. Can you come tell us about it? We want to know. We want to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yes, we are. <laughs> you seen the eyes and everything. Yeah, yeah. You, you feeling different when you did, when you saw that. Yes. An angel for you, 24. What's up, Janet Cross? Carolina Breezy. Yeah, what's up, Trudy? What what what, what, music, what instrument you play, Young Chaos? What instrument? <laughs> yeah, come on in. You coming in? China, you coming in tonight? Yes, indeed. Come on in. Yeah, you know, because you know that's what we do. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the link in there for China because yeah, you know, you talk to one of them things. Hey, come in here and give it to us. Yes, indeed. Come in here and give it to us because we, because people don't, a lot of people don't believe that them things are, they, they really exist the way they do. A lot of people don't. Come on and get settled in, everybody. Everybody hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. You know, it's all love and peace in here. And yes, what's up, Daybreak76? Yeah, you the piano keyboard player, man. Good gracious, boy. Nothing but love for the keyboard players. Keyboard section, get it done. Yes, they do have those, you know. Yeah, they do it. Yes, they do. They do it. So, what's up, Max Potential? Let's get this party started, everybody. Hey, Kathleen. All y'all coming in late, hit the like now. Don't start playing. Hit the like. Yeah, that's how we do it. Guys, tonight's session, okay, the first topic, the main, the first topic is a narcissist and math, mathematics. Okay, they only know one kind of mathematics, and that is division. That is division. Guys, I really want to kind of dedicate tonight's show to someone, you know, and... You know, I do, man. It, this is this person, but we, of course, before I get started, you know, let's let's never forget, you know, let's never forget our sponsorship, because uh, yeah, my man, man, day, 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 Appreciate the love, the sponsorship. Yes, indeed. Sponsors, you know, you just bring us that much more energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What's up, Leela Abby? Okay, I see China coming in. She easing in. Come on, come on. Get the signal right. It's almost in there. Uh-huh. What's up, Chi-Chi? Say when I woke up was not the person I shared my life with for 25 years. That face was not of this world, man. Okay, China, you here? So we 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 getting down with the get that. We go get that. <laughs> okay. Hey, Martha. What's up? What's up, China? How you feeling? Good. How, you? How are you? Hey, man. You know. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm feeling good. It looks like, you know what, China? I see it in your face now. You're starting to thin out. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Hey, Kara Stone. No. <laughs> hey, it's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. yes, indeed. That's right. Connie Barnes, champ. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Hey, Kara Stone. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. Come on in here. Yeah. So uh, you said you had a chance. You, you had a chance to sit down and speak with one of them things, man. Yes, let me get my internet right. I'm going to put it on my data and take this Wi-Fi off so there won't be miscommunication. Okay, okay. While she's getting herself together and getting herself ready, man. Guys, I, I do want to... Uh, I do want to talk to y'all tonight, man, but, but I want to get uh, China to get her point in first because I, I really want to... I, I was talking to... I had a session today, man, and it was kind of it kind of disturbed me, you know. It, it really disturbed me, and I and I need to help my man get free from this thing, you know. It's just kind of on me right now because you know the the sessions are starting to go in. I don't feel positive at the end of it, and and it comes from us guys when you lose yourself. With one of these things i mean lose yourself and a lot of you know what i'm talking about lose yourself meaning you don't even care how you look no anymore yeah. and i've been there i i've been there I'm, I'm not saying this like i wasn't that way because yeah you don't even recognize yourself anymore you get to a place where you'll listen to anybody's advice as long as it's not what's that it's not coming from that voice inside of you yeah. and that's where we get we get to that place where I, i'll listen to anybody as long as it's not that voice inside of me we get to a that narcissist manipulates us into a place where we don't have any trust and they call it a trauma bond but that's not what it is y'all but we're gonna get into that man let's talk about this thing china What's let me ask you what you said before um mm -hmm. i get to it's not just as long as it's not it's not the voice inside it's also a long, it's as long as it goes with what we want it to go with and that's not leaving that person and still being with that person that's the advice we tend to take any and we and we get to looking for anybody that will tell us anything that will help us continue to see that relationship as one that is giving us something because you know and I and I was very careful you know when i'm at, when i'm looking at those relationships because we swear we in love with that person but when i asked him i said well okay let's put it under the microscope what exactly do you love about about this woman so much and he literally gave me zero and i'm talking about somebody this 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 guy cannot he he got it bad he cannot not talk about her he can't do we can't even shift the session in a different direction because we i'll push it in a different direction and he'll just cut me off and but 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 what if this happened what if she did what and it's it, it's it gets to the place where it's it's starting to just be disturbing to me and I, he understands he he's got it bad yeah. bad and i'm like you know what he's not the only person like that He's not the only person like that. We get, I mean, we lose ourselves. It, we lose ourselves on a level where somebody's telling you, listen, listen, man. Everybody doesn't want a loving relationship. Everybody doesn't want that. Believe it or not. I know they told you that at the beginning, but that's not their type. When you are with a narcissist, Remember, the more you try to do this lovey dovey partnership, I love you. We we you know we're gonna be have this together forever. That old that, that new edition popcorn love, you know. <laughs> they that that pisses them off. They they get pissed because they're like everybody I meet, it's the same thing, y'all, and they look at us like we weak. 
like something is wrong with you. I'm I'm dogging you, and you still want that with me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, China, talk to us. Tell us about this thing you was talking to. So, it's funny that you say we lose ourselves. See, that's why I like our chemistry. It's like you can read my mind and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go ahead. Go in on them. But what I realized is that when these people collapse, they lose themselves too. Woo! I saw it. I saw it. Ooh, tell, tell them what it looked like, China. Tell, tell us all. Tell us what it looks like. This man literally... Okay, so it, this is a little bit of the, of the history. I went to go see my friend mm -hmm. and you know, she ended up moving back in with her kid's father because her and her landlord couldn't agree, so they didn't renew her lease. So I went over there, you know, and I sat at the table. He was drunk. These people will do you so dirty and still think you would take him back. Yes. He, let me tell you, this man is on dating websites. This man is, he is going to Columbia for 30 days to try to find him a woman. <laughs> he was sitting there drunk, spilling his guts to me. His eyes was dark. He said, I know I haven't been a good father to my kids. He was like, but I'm making it up. I said, well, you can't make they, that up. They're grown now. He said, oh, no, I'm not making it up in the physical form. I'm making it up mentally. I said, you can't do that without help. He was like, but I got God on my side, so I ain't worried about it. And I said, no, God is not wow. on your side. You have to repent and turn away from sin in order for God to be there with you. This man was drunk, and he didn't know who he was. They lose themselves too. Yes. It was so scary looking at this man in his eyes. I mean, God. And I had to sit there because I gather intel. And I had go. to sit there and stare this thing in its face. And for some reason, he did not scare me because I knew what I was dealing with. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. I mean, you know, it's, I think now, see, now you able to look at people and talk to them and you don't have, you don't feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't feel impelled to, to, to feel sorry for him and empathize with him. You looking at him and seeing him for who he truly is. And you like, man, this dude is straight cruddy. You ain't taking care of your kids and you think God got you. Yeah, right. God got you, all right. Yeah, and it's going to keep getting worse, champ. Yeah, that liquor, getting drunk, that it ain't going that ain't going to wash it away. It ain't going to wash that karma away. No indeed, as soon as you get sober, karma right there sit is laying right next to him saying, "What's up, man? Oh, Would yeah. you go I went somewhere?" <laughs> no, you don't do you know, right by your children, man. You, I don't feel like you when you just totally just just say, man, you know, forget them. I, I, I'm I doing me. Yeah, you, you, I don't feel like you deserve life, man. I don't feel like you deserve the air that you breathe in. Because that's you just dirty. And you're not even trying. OK, we all we've all made mistakes with our children now. Let's keep it real. But some of us still try to you know get that straight we try to straighten that situation out some people are like man whatever it's whatever with them they 18 now i don't know them. like they could just care less I, I, man i would i've never turned my back on my children no it's, it's not gonna happen man and, and even when they turn their back on me i'm like hey man god got you i'm i'm watching God developed them. You know, I, I'm watching it. So, you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. It is a beautiful thing. So he just spilling his guts, talking about I'm gonna go find me a wife. That's it. I'm I'm drunk and yeah, I'm gonna find me a wife. 
No, he claims he's going to get some property down there. But at the same time, she already looked in his phone and saw he was on a dating website for Colombian women. Make it make sense. You going down there for property and that's what you're interested in. And then he started talking about the passport bros and stuff mm. like that and how beautiful the women are. But you know what his karma is? The one who got away is laying right next to him in the bed and he can't even have her. Come on. Well, and, and this is the thing, you know, we so many times we look at karma and how it gets people. I'm gonna t the one thing I learned about karma is that God knows the perfect punishment for all of us. See, God knows yeah. what what's going to get to you, what's going to get to me. He knows where your heart is. And yeah. you better believe wherever your heart is, you're going to be disappointed. The same way we disappoint him, there it is. You get We get that same disappointment back. Yes, indeed. No, nah, he's not going to go somewhere and just be run off and just be happy, live happily. Ever. Even if he does go, okay, let's say he buys his home and he's somewhere, you know, in a land of just beautiful people, beautiful women, this and that. Your karma isn't going to allow you. It doesn't matter how agreeable the people are around you. It doesn't matter because when you aren't together, when you don't have it put together, you're never, okay, you're never going to have it together. It's it's not going to just fall in place, guys. Yeah. It's not. And we, and again, we sit back and we wonder, you know, well, what's their karma? Because I'm hurting. And, and I told them, I said, hey, man, you know, this is the part of the, uh, this is the part of the session where, you know, I'm about to twist this knife in you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because you know you met this person, and and she was married. How you think her husband felt? Yeah, that's how he was feeling when you was with her. That's what you're going through right now. So all of y'all, and this is what I'm telling y'all this story. Every last one of you that think that the the new supply just had it going on and they got over, and you know. Come on, you, you you losing it if you think they just went off and turned around for somebody else. You losing it. No. They didn't. No. That's not how they roll. That's not how they get down. That's not how it goes down. No. Okay, a narcissist. Listen, y'all. I and I told him just like that. I said, "Hey, man, everything you feel right now, you deserve it. You deserve worse." That man, you sat there with that man's wife, and you felt like you were more deserving of his wife than him. You didn't say, "Okay, I'm, let me just go ahead and let her get that together before we get together." Yeah, you ain't had no respect. You ain't had no respect, and you deserve what you're getting. Yeah, you deserve it. You worrying about her karma? She lives her karma. She just running from person to person, man. You you think that she loving, you think somebody out here love, guys, let me help y'all with something. Just because narcs are devils and they're dark spirits, don't think for one second they don't want to feel love and they don't want to be love bombed and they don't want all of the things that you bring to them that you present to their life. They don't want this hard life out here with another narcissist. No, no. No. They want one of us. They still want people to treat them with respect, with kindness, with dignity. They want to be treated good, even though they're no good. Yeah. They still want, they still want somebody. Treat me good. Make me, uh-uh. They still want praise from people. And I told them, I said, dude, that's all she doing. She running around with all these different guys. And at the end of the day, She's running around with all these different guys. I want y'all to understand something. Just because you see them with many people, 
they're trying to replace you. They're trying to get that feeling back. What was it like? You know, I want to feel that feeling, that rush again. That's how they are. Yeah. Everybody they deal with, they just want to feel that rush. Somebody giving them all this adoration, somebody giving them high praise and telling them how great they are. Yeah. That's all they want. Yeah. And that's why they're always open to new people. Yeah. Always. You're not going to ever meet one. China, you were sitting right there across from that dude. Had yeah. you gave him any indication that you were open to him, he would have jumped. It, it wouldn't have took one second for him to even think about it. I know. Not one second. Because they, and they love being messy like that. Oh, yeah. They love it because they want to believe in their minds. They want to believe we're all on the same wavelength. We all go just like they do. They want to believe oh, all, all of us got that potential in us. Yeah. Yeah. They want to reduce everybody to the exact same hell. Yeah. And Guys, yeah. when you think, when you go out here and you have dealt with this and you're wondering what's going on on the other side and like, wow, y'all just really believe that, you know, that they get their karma and this. And I want y'all to understand what we're telling y'all about. We're telling you how it feels to not be emotionally connected to that person anymore. Yeah. Because that's all this really is. You, you have an emotional connection to that person and you feel some type of way and you, and again, you want that payback. You done did the work. Now you're looking for the pay. Yeah. And yeah. Let me say this, Harry. Though. They do instantly go straight into victim mode. When he started talking about what he wasn't doing for his kids and stuff, he instantly went to his childhood and said he had to survive on his own and he became selfish. And <sighs> that's how he was. To kids. But when I tell y'all, he did exactly what they do. He was with her for all those years and never married her. But when he moved on to somebody else, he married that lady. He brought part of all their dreams. He took over to somebody else. And want me to tell you how he played the game and how he got this woman? He lied and told her, well, he was going to therapy, but she was his therapist. And you know what kind of therapy she was giving him. Come on. How he got her. And she she didn't see it coming. Oh, she's a narc <laughs> too. Oh, it's more to this story. I know the whole. Oh thing. my goodness! <laughs> that's why I can't wait to Friday. I got to say that. Man, that's that's the best kind. That's the best kind because see, a true narc, they can they can sense each other as well, but they still want to prove that they're more of a narcissist than the next narcissist. Yeah. So. You know, it's just a cutthroat situation. And when you get two narcs together, man, you get two narcs together, guys. It ain't, it's all about victimhood. Who's going to be the victim? But at the same time, they're doing everything they can, everything they can to destroy one another. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, man. It was one time where he thought he unalived her. And ran to my friend's house mm, so mm, mm. to the airport to get out of line. He didn't check to see if she was still breathing or anything. He had to get the hell out. I'm t I got a story. For you. I cannot wait because I don't want to take over your show today. But good gracious, <laughs> hey man, do what it do, man. Do what it do. Do what you feel. <laughs> That's what we we here we here for the people. Okay, we here for the people. That's what it is. You dig? But you know what? Seeing this man collapse like that somebody and i tell you when i tell you he got money he have rental property he have all that you know what i'm saying and it's not about that because they so empty inside and when they going through something y'all think because they got so many options that they live in the life no this man has plenty of options and he's in collapse mode because he started talking about his life and all it's there's regret guys i saw it it's so much regret and it eats them up. Yes, indeed. See, see, that's the part we don't see 
And the reason we don't see it is because we still holding on. Yep. We still got that hope in the back of our mind that this fool going to snap out of it and beg me to come back. We still think that somehow, some way they're going to fix this, this thing that they have destroyed between us. And they are not going to fix it. Remember, any relationship with a narcissist, you are the fixer. Okay? They destroy, you are the fixer. And it's never going to be a point when they're not, when they're just not, they're going to get tired of destroying things. Yeah. Yeah. You know. He called her a narcissist. I said, okay, so he know what this is. But you know what? That whole demon was sitting there trying to pick my brain, trying to know what I know about him. He said, if you see something about me, tell me. I said, oh, no, I'm just listening. <laughs> so he saw, he because he could feel your spirit. Yeah. They, they understand, you know, that a conversation with you, and that's I think, I think that's every narcissist. That's why some people, they don't like them based on the energy around that person yeah because that's what a narc is really going for yeah. they're going for that childlike energy they're going for that inner child people they're going for that forgiveness energy remember your inner child will forgive anybody for anything okay but, but, but your outside adult no not so much but you know what that, I mean, he, he couldn't get nothing from me. And so he instantly started on the uh, divide and conquer. This is over 20 years here. You can't, you can't touch this. It's been tested and tried. He can't, but he was like, oh, she got you out all night. He was feeling some type of way because me and her had stayed out two nights in a row. Didn't come back to the house, but you know, they not together or anything. And he do his thing and she do hers, but at the same time, He's trying to stop her. He kept calling her while we were out talking about we need to talk or here, just call and then say nothing. And then just hang up, I guess, to just hear what's in the background and see what we're doing. And stuff like that. Just trying to stop what she's doing, but she's not trying to stop him from doing what he's doing. And that's the go. trying to get her back. She's sleeping with him, but there, she, there are no strings attached. She don't want the relationship or nothing, and it's killing him. It's killing him. Oh, well. Oh, well. You know, let them feel how they feel. Again, y'all. So, Lady Virgo was saying the soon-to-be ex is putting money into the new supplies house, and we aren't even divorced yet. His brain is messing up. You know, again, he's going to see. See, right now, to him, it that situation looks solid. Yeah. Oh man, it looks solid right now. And I know right now, Lady Virgo, you probably can't even see this. You can't see the outcome. Listen, he's not the first person that's primed something like that. Listen, that that female knows y'all married. She knows y'all married. Listen, y'all, y'all want to y'all want a quick fat you know the fastest route to be in hell right here while you on this planet go out here and be dealing with somebody's husband or somebody's wife yeah guys and, and i'm saying this is the exact same thing that i'm talking about with this guy today you know and i've been and i've been coaching him for a little bit but you know and, and i want y'all to understand you think you think that they got this strong you know you think that they got this strong bond that's so incredible it's so incredible that you know it, they're going to last through time and everything is going to be hunky dory and it's going to be fabulous and they're going to walk off into the sunset yeah that's the biggest lie you ever told yourself yeah. I see a lot of times what we don't see is, man, God going to let that person that's in your life, they're going to let them, God is going to let them continue and continue 
to build in another relationship. Just sometimes, guys, that's what he got to do to get us away from them. Yeah. Sometimes that's what God got to do to get us away. He got to make it look like to the to the narcissist. He got to make them think that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like a fishing. You're going on a fishing trip. You got to put some live bait on them on that anchor sometimes to get certain kind of fish because they know a fake worm run in that water. Yeah. But they see an actual fish, you know, twirling around and, you know, they're going to go for it. That's the narcissist. Yeah. That narcissist is like, oh, no, no, no. This energy over here, it feels good. I'm putting this money in her house and we're going to do this, baby, and we're going to do that. And man, you're going to see. You're going to see how that entire situation just goes. I mean, it's going to flatline. And I want you to be right here in the comments letting us know when it happens. I want you to be right there the same way you're noticing it now. Because, guys, one thing, and, you know, I've had people ask me all the time. People ask me all the time, how is it that this stuff comes to you? How do you see it? How are you able to find out when something happens? I said, man, listen, the moment you stop looking for it, the moment you become disinterested in these people's business. Yeah. You, you, I'm telling you. Yeah. It, it's not, it's not an energy you can make pretend about though. You got to really put down it, lay in it, put it, throw in the towel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they had the fancy wedding on the yacht, everything that's all on social media. And, you know, before they split and did all that before I knew what it was. And I had commented on one of the pictures she, that my friend had posted. And mm -hmm. for some reason, somehow, he was watching her page. And we didn't find out till, um last night because he was like, yeah, I saw your comment you made on that post. So he was stalking her social media the whole time while he was with this woman and everything. I mean, that marriage did not last long. Let me tell you, it went so quick that he didn't get nothing out of the divorce. And, and and you know what? And 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 people, we look at that like, but they getting married, and you, we swear like this is oh, this is it. They must be happy. No, they just get married. A narcissist doesn't get married for happiness. You do. Yep. They just got a permanent in-house punching bag. Yeah. Yes. Everybody is a start over. Let me tell y'all this. When they go out and get somebody pregnant and have a baby by that person, that's their start over. Because he told me the child that he had with this woman, he said, that's my makeup child. So he's going to try to make up through that child all the pain he caused this other kid. So y'all don't be jealous of these marriages and these wow. kids go out they collect bodies i don't care what it is that's it that's all you're going to get good people that's all you're going to get you're going to see these people make that life look fabulous it looks glamorous and you're going to be sitting there like wow why is this happening to me why did i get left in the cold why did i get left hanging you had to get left hanging. Yeah. You had to because if you didn't get left hanging, then you probably still would be pursuing that person. You was if it wasn't painful, you would still be willing to go back. And sometimes even when it's painful, we still are willing to take them back again. Guys, I'm going to tell y'all, man, for me, no contact was my breakthrough. No contact was my breakthrough. When I got, when I went no contact, man, everything in my life changed. Yeah. I did not feel, I didn't know, I no longer felt that, you know, felt compelled to, to, to be in that person's business, to want to know her business, anything. It was, it instantly turned into, listen, that's no longer in my life. And I don't even want to know. I don't want to know her business. Whatever it is, that's her business. Yeah. 
Now, naturally, people are going to tell you their business. People are going to call you. Yeah. Especially when you're not looking for it because they're looking at the other person. They're saying, wow, I thought that this was this and that was that. And I thought that person left to go be happy somewhere. And, <laughs> and what happened? And it's guys behind the scenes. I, I, I swear to you. I swear to you, I, I, don't, I usually don't say stuff like that. I swear to you, it ain't what you think. No. I, I guarantee you, I personally guarantee you that it is nothing like what you think it is. Yeah. We have this picture, this picturesque painting in our minds that, oh man, behind the scenes, I know they, they doing this and it's that and their relationship is this and that and all. Man, the biggest lie you ever told yourself. Yeah. Y'all don't even understand. A lot of times they get out there and get fooled and tricked by another narc. <laughs> and when two narcs get together, ladies and gentlemen, when two narcs are together, it's all about one upping each other. Oh, yeah. Who can dog the other person first and get the upper hand all their relationship is about is getting the upper hand on the other person yeah both of them they cheat on each other they get together they cheat on each other they go to other people then they get back together right because they done destroyed the relationship over here with the other people that they're dealing with so they get back together two when two narcs get together it's basically like okay we just you know this is just a fill-in to help us both keep our self-esteem together so that we can go off to other people. And guys, again, again, man, the narcissist uses you to keep their self-esteem together. Okay? If you have the strength to go no contact immediately, their relationships... You literally are putting kryptonite in their new relationship. Yeah. And the reason is because, guys, at that point, they don't have anything to talk about in the new relationship except you. They can't move forward. They need a cheerleader. They need you back there being mad that they're gone to somebody new. They need you inquiring, why won't we, why can't we work this out? They need it. That it without that, their self esteem is zero. You know what? Let me say this, Harry. O. I swear, sitting there talking to him, and he was at the lowest point. If I was an evil person, I could have uh, talked to him in the kit in himself. Wow! Did he? <laughs> wow! It, it why was, you say that? Why you why you say that? Because. He, the way he looked like he just didn't want to be around anymore. Wow. That's the look he had. It, see, but, but you know what? If you talk to one of his exes, they would swear. Nah, nah, nah. He happy. He look happy. He look, you know, cause he making it guys, you are the instrument they use to make themselves look happy. Yeah. That's it. They don't know how to look happy when you're not around. No. Or they if they or unless they have somebody else around them. But being by themselves, no. Nah, no. Nah, they don't know how to do that. See, but they she don't. did he still can't fight them demons and come up out of that collapse. She right there. And and you know what? They do own people and they get jealous when two of them get in a relationship together. What the female is looking for, a lap dog. And what the male is looking for, a punching bag. That's and it. they can't get along. They get um two different. See, they both want to abuse each other. That's in it. Situation. And the female be the dominant and make the male um bow down. And you know they're not going to do that to nobody. So those type of relationships don't work because the female always want to be the dominant. They sadistic. They there more evil than the man is. And and that's how she got them when they got in there for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. and Lady Virgo, the reason why he's putting money into her home, because he know that's what he was doing before he left you, and by going to court, he know that's an issue for you. And so 
he know that you're upset because he left your house in the situation that is in and now he's doing it for somebody else there that's you go the that's what and, 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 and you know what and that's why and, and when you see that that's why you got to make him stand on that you got to make him stand on what he did he ran over there to do something for 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 her house he ain't even doing at home Nah, you got to make him stand on that. Because, see, we get to this place, y'all, again. We get to this place where we're thinking, nah, they ain't, they ain't going to turn around. They ain't going to get it back together. Yeah, one day you're going to see what it looks like on the other side when you just like, nah, I, I really have gotten to the place. I don't, not only do I not want you, you are no longer an option in my life. When you get to that place, when you get to that place, you'll see. You you want y'all watch. They coming back around. A lot of times they don't know how to, especially when you get this inner strength. Like wow, you can go no contact and not, and really never try to contact. Woo! Listen, guys, they know how much you cared about them. They know that you have a weakness, a soft spot inside of you for them. They know it. And they are abusing it. And they are abusing you for the way you care about them. Yeah. Okay. And, and when they see that they can know they don't have that power, when you show them, see, tell it, them seeing that you that you they don't have that power over you anymore it's not something that's verbalized it's not it's something that they see see with the narc if y'all haven't learned by now you you if you believe anything coming out their mouth and, and this is something that i talked about with my man earlier today i said man listen bro like it or not with a narcissist either you're all the way in or you're all the way out and if you're still having conversations with them, then you're still all the way in because you still believe what they say. Yeah. Yeah. If you're having a conversation with a narcissist, you still believe what they say. Oh, yeah. You, you hoping they're going to tell the truth about something. That means you still all the way in. Yeah. See, when you all the way out. And I got, you know, me and, a, me and a buddy of mine, we we laugh about this. We joke about this sometimes, you know, when he'll say something like, uh, yeah, what you going to do when your ex say such and such and such? My answer is always the standard answer. Like, bro, how are me and her going to ever have a conversation? How am I present that to me? Where am I going to be that we going to have a conversation? Where? On this planet? <laughs> how is that going to happen? See, you got to have your mind made up the same way you got your mind made up that you're going to save that relationship. The same way you got your mind made up that you're going to win with that monster. You got to have your mind made up that it ain't no way in four hells you ever going to have a conversation with me about a damn thing. I don't care what I don't care fire coming out the sky. I don't care what the punishment is for me not talking to you. I'm choosing them bullets right there. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. Go ahead. Put them, put them right there in the middle, back. Hit, hit me quick and hit me fast. You know, get me out of there. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is no longer an option. And, and just like China was just saying, guys, y'all think, and I've, we, I've talked to y'all about this before. Y'all think that a narc, they just keep it together. Do you understand when they cannot destroy you? It destroys them. That means they missed. They had you in their hands. They had you in the palm of their hands and they missed. Yeah. And you got away. And now they got to live the rest of their life knowing you got away that they weren't better than you. They didn't outsmart you. They weren't able to destroy you. They don't just get a pass. No, it doesn't work that way. When they cannot destroy you, it destroys them. 
See, we just don't look at it that way because you know why you don't look at it that way? Because, because you're not that way. You're not that way. You don't think like they do. You're not sitting around thinking about how much pain you can put somebody through. And when they start to get ornery and disrespectful with you, that's a test. That's the that's yeah. a test to see how much of this can you take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you know, I was, you know, you, you keep on playing and somebody else gonna have your spot. They like to say little stuff like that to you. Yeah, oh, oh my god, yes, he oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you keep on you keep on playing and somebody else gonna be over here having fun with me. They want to do see that ain't a, that's not something that a husband would say. That's not something that a wife would say. Yeah. When people see a real husband, a real wife, they're never going to invite that thought into your mind. I don't care how mad we get. I don't care how mad we get, what we arguing about, whatever the argument is about. See, two people who do really love each other, when they argue, they're arguing a point. They're not arguing to just tear this other person down. No, I'm gonna argue my point, even though I know I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. People that really love each other and respect each other, they don't even play. You don't even play like that. And another thing, guys, remember, we don't play like that. We don't tell people, you know, I'm really a devil. Right. We don't, we don't even play like that. Somebody tell you some mess like that, man. You better run. Yeah. You should you should tear that table up getting up. Whoa, whoa, man. Get up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> run out the restaurant. Where, wherever y'all at, you need to get up and start running immediately. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you how evil they are and they plan and they lying. These, no. They know what they they know exactly what they're doing. There is no excuse. And I learned, man, I learned just by looking at this man and listening to him talk. If y'all saw y'all like that, y'all will fall. If y'all not healed, y'all will take that person back. Because in them moments, that's when they're being their most honest. But it's always about them in victim mode. And, and that's why they hoover so much. Because they be so down. And y'all think, oh, they got money, they got property, they got this. All that don't mean nothing if they ain't got nobody to, to pet them on. Avenue. Woo. And see what you where we where we underestimate and undermine ourselves is we have been taught to put so much value in finance that we no longer value just being able to love somebody. What that does. See, guys, listen. Being somebody on this planet that has the ability to love somebody and nurture somebody. That is a gift. That is a gift because everybody doesn't have it. Yeah. Yeah. When y'all dealing with that narc, you see that they don't have it. You thought they had it, but you have learned they don't even have it. So you have to have a level of respect. See, that's what we get. We get it twisted because we don't even respect the level that we are on and what we really bring to the table. That's the big thing in social media now. What do you bring to the table? Love. I I bring you a love that you ain't never going to get else in in your life anywhere else. Whoo, my goodness. Do you understand what you just put on the table? I'm going to love you. I can love you. and, And then tell them, describe to them what love is and what it feels like. See, everybody can't do that. Like I said, I talked to this guy today. I said, bro, last time we had a conversation, I asked you, what exactly do you love about that person? So much. And you drew a blank and changed the subject. I said, dude, because you think you love her. You don't. That's not love, guys. Yep. It's not love, y'all. You know Ooh. what? I did try to appeal to my inner child. Yes, indeed. 
That's that's exactly what he was doing when you were sitting there talking to him. He was uh, he's looking to appeal to your inner child, that one that's gonna feel feel sorry for me. And Tell I me some good things about myself. Feel sorry for me. Nope, I couldn't. I couldn't because that inner child, she's healed. She ain't there no more. There you go. There you go. It's like, hey, I know. You know, it's like, hey, man, I, I know how to check that that inner child because what I'm not gonna do is have you thinking. You know that you're gonna use me for supply. Yeah. No, because that's all it is. He's just sitting there like, well, okay, let me talk to you for a little bit, and yeah, I'm gonna talk you into this. And he's feeling your spirit. Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling your spirit. He want to know where you are. He like, wow, hold up, whoa, 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 what's going on with you? You know, you ain't just all down my throat, all in my face. You know, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It instantly went to, I don't know what she told you. I said, she didn't tell me anything. And you know what? The reason he came and sat down and talked with me <clears throat> with my first husband mm -hmm. he did not know that we were not together. And so he asked me about him. I'm like, oh, I divorced him over 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, I didn't know you know, you guys were divorced, so he thought that I had some issues probably that I was still dealing with, and he thought he can sit down and have a conversation with me, and I can empathize with him and, and sit in his shoes, but I mm -hmm. can't me and you are not cut from the same cloth, sir. Don't say, say it again. <laughs> we are not cut from the same cloth. Anytime you can sit there and admit that you've been a low-down, dirty person, and you're not doing anything to change it, I almost said to him, Harry, oh, I swear, I almost said, which God you talking about? Because it don't look like uh, the God I know doing anything for you. Mm. Mm. There you, and that's how you got to step to them. Again, you know, like, man, you put God in that sentence and you, you ain't even taking care of your kids? Joe. Man, that, that, that is the weakest. That's the worst monster. Forget this relationship stuff. People that don't take care, that, that could care less about their children, their offspring, their future. You could just care less. Oh, man, God, it's whatever. I, and I'm going to say this. I, I understand that we've all had, We, if you've got children, you've had issues with those children, okay? Please make no mistake. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, either that person is just bad and you have to cut them off. Yeah. You know, because sometimes a child can be that bad. They can be that toxic where you like, man, it's saying I can't fix this. And even with them, I before I would say I give up on my child, I would still say, I'm going to just give it to God. I'm going to let God soften this situation up and bring it back together the way, you know, it that I know it's supposed to be. Because guys... For me, I have realized that in life, when you hold grudges, when you hold grudges against people, and I ain't talking about against your enemy now. I'm not talking about your open enemies. I'm talking about, and even when you have enemies, don't follow in their footsteps. That's, that's how your enemy still beats you. When you follow in their footsteps, when they, oh, I know you don't like me. So, you know, I don't like you either. Nah, you, I know you don't like me, but I'm just not going to deal with you. Right. It's not that I dislike you. I'm just not going to deal with you. I'm not going to tolerate you Yeah. because I don't have to. But no, I'm not going to absorb that hatred energy. You hate me, so I hate you. I don't even know why I hate you. Why would I do that? Right. No, I'm not doing that. I know what hatred does to people. I've seen it and it ain't pretty. Yeah. You know, before you decide you're going to be like somebody, you better take a good look at who they are and what they're going through. Yeah. Because you could be putting that exact same thing on your plate. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the main reason I say, man, don't, don't do with the narc. Don't do to the narc what they did to you. No, I don't do it. I know that we get excited sometimes. Oh, I'm going to get you. 
Oh, I'm going to get my lick back on that one. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. I've done it and have lived to regret it. I've lived to regret it because what I realize is, wow, man, you know, once you get your, your thinking cap back on and you like, wow, man, I wish I would have just been me. I wish I would have just been straight up like, you know, because, at you know, you already know, y'all, the, the narc is going to cheat. They cheating on you. Oh, OK, yeah. they cheating on you. Yeah. You already know that. Now, a lot of times we like, OK, well, I'm going to let you see how that feel. Guys, no, no. Listen. It feels so much worse when that narc got to sit back and they got to get drunk or get high or get something to get you off their mind because they know you was good. When they, and, and everybody who made it through this and you didn't do what they did, they got to sit back and they got to remember oh, yeah. what they had with you because I guarantee you, they didn't just run out here down to the 7-Eleven and pick another you up, okay? Yeah. It does not happen that way. When yeah. they got somebody that's good, man, you the best thing you can do for them is say, hey, you know what? I'm going to let you go ahead and go because, you know, I I'm not about to turn into you. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to let you turn me into you because – then they, then everything they saying about you, oh no, nah, you know China, nah man, China, she, man, you y'all think she like this and that, China man, she out there. I, I, I told you I caught her with this dude and Bob. Everything that he's, everything he's doing, he's saying you're doing it, and he can give better details because a crut ball always going to have better details because they cruddy. Yeah, and they, he, he couldn't read me. And so that's why he was trying to pick my brain and I wouldn't give him nothing. The reason he wanted to pick my brain was to see what I knew so he can change the narrative. And that's why I always tell y'all, be quiet. Don't be going out there saying this and saying that because you're giving them a, a way to change the narrative on everything. If they don't know what's out there, they don't know what to say. You didn't know what was out there about you. And that's why it's best to be quiet and let it sit because that's what I do. The truth will come out eventually. And that's why I've been giving y'all bits and pieces. And I finally was able to give y'all some on Friday as to what was going on. Because these people plot. Because they are miserable. That man tried everything in the book that night to try to get some supply out of even his own son who was sitting there with his girlfriend. He started picking on them like, who told him he can have company? I started to say, what, you mad because you lonely? Whoa. Whoa. And so he picked yeah. up. They got yeah. up to leave. He was like, well, damn. She didn't say hi. We said, you wasn't even in here. She said hi to everybody. He was like, well, she could say bye. They just walked out the door. Man, again, again, you know, we have this impression because in front of everybody, they got that smile and face, you know, when they were trying to paint that picture, that narrative for you. And you think they're happy and they got this going on over there and they got this new project that they're doing over at the new supplies house and everything over there. They just doing everything I wanted to do. No, they not. But they know you mad about it. They know you watching and they know that it's making you mad to see that. Yeah, I'm doing that same stuff. See, because that's how cruddy they are. Remember, yeah. guys. This is about destroying you. Yeah. That's it. You trying to make sense of it. Do you know that you trying to make sense out of something that doesn't make sense will drive you insane? Every day you just like, man, well, why? Why won't why won't she act right? Why can't he get it together? Why won't they why won't they see what I am for them in this life? Why won't they see it? Because you're not it. No, you're not it. All they want is something from you. But what they want from you is your demise. Yeah, they don't want you walking out here, walking around, telling people to avoid people like them and showing people, man, it's, it's, it's the happiness that you're going to feel 
after that crazy situation. Guys, man, listen, I have not had one day of depression. Not one moment. Not one moment. And I promise y'all, I'm, I'm going through as, as much as y'all, if not a whole lot more on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay, I'm still living in this crazy world. But there are certain things that I don't allow in my space. Mm -hmm. There are certain things I don't allow. And once you have your boundaries up and have them solid and tight, guys, that's it. That's it. You don't have to worry anymore. You know what, Harry? O, when I met this man in those dark eyes, he didn't even look like himself. I swear, you can see a demon. You can see it. He looked like himself. He looked like mm -hmm. a old demon, and he was drunk, but his eyes were wide open and just yeah. black. And I had never seen it in that form before, and I'm just looking and Man, it was uh, it was something I had never yeah when you when you see it you cannot unsee it yeah. <laughs> got up for work this morning Harry I swear I turned and look he was standing in the kitchen staring at me laying on the couch hey hey you cannot unsee what you have seen you know what you felt when you saw it yeah, you like, oh, whoa, I saw that. Oh, yeah, I saw it when I saw it. You know, it's funny because when I actually saw it, it was many years into the, re the into the marriage. You know what I'm saying? It was it might have been on year 21 or 22, something like that. You know, it might have been right somewhere around that time. But it was many years in before I actually saw it. And when I saw it, it was, it's one of those moments that you just like, I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. That is something that is etched in stone. You saw it and you just like, wow. And then you kind of scared to talk about it because you're like, man, people going to think I'm crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a funny blink that I saw with it, too. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, too? Let me say this. I think when and when I saw it, it was like she did it to show me. Yeah, this is what you're dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yes. Know. Long period of time, y'all better be glad y'all just glanced at it and saw it for a little time because this is one of the moments where that demon really takes over them. And yes. not, not even themselves, he didn't look like himself, he lost himself. I mean, life was just not worth it to him at that point. And he, even though he ran instantly into victim mode, he knew that wasn't no excuse. When they at that collapse, y'all, I swear reality kicks in. And, you know, they'll oh, yeah. at that point, that's because they need somebody to bring them up out of that. And that's the only reason why they will admit to that and seem to have some regret because they need somebody to pull them up out of that, that funk. That's right. That, and that's what we're there for. That's what we're there for, to help pull them right back up. Every time they jump back into the hole. We there to pull them right back. Oh, no, baby, I got you. You know I love you. You know this, blah, blah, blah. Guys, that's all they're using us for. Yeah. Their self-esteem, because without the self-esteem, they cannot go hunting for new supply. No. No, you're so right. No. No. They, can't, they cannot do it. No. Hey, let me get into... Intra Ella, mm -hmm. oh, thanks for the super chat. Intra Ella said for the high priest of narcology 101. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love, Martha. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Say hi, Harry. Yo, the only reason we got involved with those crud balls is because of our childhood. Hmm, big respect for you, China. Not even here, home. And still connected to us. Love to her, yo, China and Alicia. We love you back. We love yes, you. we do. 
Yeah. That's right. Come on. This is what we do. This is this ain't don't it feel good to do this, China? It does. It? <laughs> yes, it does. Lady Virgo. Mwah, thanks for the super chat. Lady Virgo said, so grateful for this support. You all helped me tremendously. I've been silent since September of 23. Everything is through attorney. I monitor credit reports. He trashed his credit. Psh, hey, who knew? And, and again, so that shows you he over there doing way too much. He over there overdoing it, overspending, overexerting himself. And he going and he's hurting himself already. You see it, but you don't see it. See, nobody walking around with their credit report. You see it, but you don't see it. When we wonder, like, well, what you know, it looked like they happy. See, that you could tell right there. If he messing up his credit, trying to keep up an image for this person, yeah, then everything in that relationship is based on him being able to re maintain an image. Yep. The image that you gave him. See, that's the part that we don't get. That's the part we don't see. You gave him that image. Yeah. You gave him that self-esteem. When you pull back, oh, oh, no, I ain't with you. They have nothing. You will watch them de just deform and shrivel. I'm telling y'all, man, when you see this person, you're going to see them. They're going to be, they're going to act out of character. They're going to be in character. When you see a narcissist start to just shrivel up and, you know, go into that dark space. Oh, man. That dark space where, you know, they don't have that control anymore. No. Guys, you don't want to see that. No. You don't even want to see it because. It's that that's when they get so pitiful. Mm -hmm. Now they now they're gonna reach out to people and they just gonna put their life on the line. Oh yeah. I don't care what y'all think about me. I'm just I don't wanna live no more. I don't want I just want somebody to love me. That's all they're gonna hit you with those crocodile tears, and while they crying, they looking, they feeling your energy. Yeah. They feel in your energy. Oh, it's working. It's look at, ah, oh, got you, got you. <laughs> got you again. Look at you. Look, feeling sorry for the devil. Look at you. And they're going to mop the floor with you. Oh, yeah. You feeling like, well, I, I, and see, that's how they want you to think that you saved them. That's how they get you back. Because you think you saved them. Baby, I was this so terrible. These streets are terrible. This dating scene is the worst. And it's this and it's these people are just crazy. I just want to be back with you. <laughs> and you hear some of that stuff. And, and you know it's true, right? Yeah. You know it's true. It don't matter. That ain't what they want. That cruddy, dirty, filthy pig life. They love that filthy, funky, dirty, trifling, cruddy life. They love it. Yeah. If you come in there talking this old language, I love you, and I, I told you I love you, and I'd do anything for you stuff, man, they start, they st immediately, they go into defense again. Ugh. Look at you. You, ugh. Lo you love me. After everything I did to you, after everything I put you through, you you st sitting here talking about how much you, uh, uh. And see, guys, they also know that your karma, they're looking at you like they want you to get their karma. They want you to get off the hook, you know, start acting crazy, start acting out. Come on, let's argue and fight, you know, like we used to. Come on, I want you to get some of that karma that I'm getting. Oh, yeah. They getting karma every single day, man. They getting it every single day. Best thing you can do for them is just stay out the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Stay out the way. Let let them get what they desire because they desire it. And if you get in the way, you keep getting in the way, you're going to keep getting hurt. I told my man earlier today, I said, yeah, man, don't it hurt every Don't it hurt worse, a little worse every time you take her back? You lose a little more of yourself. And that's why you can't even say one sentence without talking about her. Not one. Yeah. Guys, I'm saying that's how bad we get it. We get it so bad you can't say one sentence. Everything you think about, everything that, that's entailed in your life, everything is about that other person. Everything. Yeah. And it's always disbelief that I can't believe what they're doing. I can't believe I can't believe what you're doing to me here. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They, they know you can't believe it. Mm -hmm. They know you can't believe it. And guys, again, we talked about this a few weeks ago. You're the perfect storm when the narc confuses you. That's all this is about. It's about confusion. Yeah. As long as they're able yeah. to confuse you, then that's it. That's all they need. It's all about confusion. Yeah. That's all they need. And for all of y'all who think that, that all these options out there, I heard it from his mouth. Ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing on them sites. So if y'all think they got all these choices and all that, it's not. They they looking for a particular person. They they do a pump and dump or take somebody out to get some or whatever. You think they don't keep trying and trying and trying and it's failing? I mean, it's not, not out there no more. Everybody is woke now. Everybody ha is on defense. Yeah, and that's why he's trying to go to another country. Like it's gonna make a difference. Like it's not over there. He gonna get a rude awakening. He he his thing now. His 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 attitude at this point is that, you know, he knows the energy that he's bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. He's just banking on other people not seeing it and feeling it and hoping that there's a language barrier so that you know. Hey, you don't see who I am immediately. Because, guys, again, as we get older, narcs get worse. They oh. don't get better at it. They become much more obnoxious. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Connie Flores. Mwah. Thanks for that super chat. Said, thank you, Harry and China, for helping, helping us all tonight. <laughs> this experience with a narcissist makes us stronger and wiser and realize we deserve better yeah. man if you don't know that you deserve better i i need you seriously i need you to start to do your homework on why you think you don't deserve better than what you're dealing with why you think that it's worse out there Half of y'all been stayed with the narcissist because you believed it, I might jump out here and it get something worse than this monster right here. You already dealing with a monster. Yeah. No, when you get healed, you're not going to go deal with a worse monster. No, you're not. Because as soon as they take that mask off, you're going to exit stage left. Up, oh, I'm out. And, and guys, see, once you get on the other side, you know how to do it. Yeah. You know, hey, oh, no, no, no. Ain't going to be no announcement. <laughs> yeah. Ain't going to be no announcement. No. You learned that from a narc. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ain't going to be a no announcement. Once you present the craziness, hey, you, you blocked, you, 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 you ghosted, whatever you want to call it. But, hey, I'm going to let you fire off the first lick. Yeah. Yeah, let them do what they do. Yeah, and once you see who they are, man, when you see who they are, you deal with them accordingly. You don't just stay there and pretend like, oh no, 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 this ain't that bad. 
you know, and 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 and, and is this and is that and, and 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 we, you know, and I'm sitting there like, dude, you telling me it ain't that bad? How? What do you? What do you mean it ain't that bad? You're in a relationship. You no, you're not even in a relationship. You're dealing with a situation with somebody who's told you openly. I'm seeing other people. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm seeing other people, and you're watching her date other people, and you're asking why would somebody do that to me? Why would somebody? Why? Why can't you see I'm the best candidate? And I'm telling you straight up, dude, dude, you don't even have self respect at this point. How could she see? the level of guy you claim you are that you think you are when you're actually you're openly participating in this group relationship yeah bro you cannot tell me that your inner child the person you were before meeting meeting her would tolerate something like that there's no way you would tolerate something like that but and, you're tolerating it right now. And if you listen to them speak, they tell you literally what age they're stuck at. Because he went back to when he was 13. Mm. And so that's where they get stuck at. And when he said he was 13 and he had to fend for himself. So if y'all mm. y'all listen to them talk, they tell you exactly where they're stuck at. And I saw that demon in his eyes was hungry. <laughs> it was my soul. I'm serious. That thing was hungry and it literally stared me and didn't blink. And I mean, they will give you that eye contact. And I think that demon is the ego, to be honest. Yeah. Because they're so fragile, yeah. you know, when you expose them, they want to run and hide and stuff. But I think once that demon take over, that's where their ego come from. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know, that that ego is everything. That's all they have. That's all they have. That is their entire net worth. That ego. That ego. That's all they have. And what we don't see again, family, what we don't see is you are the one that controls that ego. Oh, yeah. You're, you're feeding it. Mm -hmm. A fire is not a fire without air. Yeah. It's smoke. You are the heir to that fire. And if you don't give it up, if you don't stop it, you don't put it out. Then it just gets bigger and bigger because you're feeding it. Yeah. Whew. Hey, China, thanks for coming in here and hanging out because I know, you know, Friday, you just going to buzz loose. Yeah. It's all good. We got something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Or stuff I want to talk about my experience. I've seen how it looks when the person is rejected. I got oh my god. I oh boy, oh boy. You talking it. about sending them back to the room. That's when they come running back to you. Mm -hmm. That's when they come running back to you when they get rejected out there. Yeah. They because they did, they're not coming back because life is good, because what they tried to do to you worked. Yeah. No, they're coming back because they got rejected. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell y'all. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. That is I have that is exactly what's going on. Hmm? I say thank you for letting me come on for a little bit. Hey, I appreciate you. Appreciate you hanging in. Kanita says you want to come in here and hang out with us. Okay, so Kanita, come on in for a minute because we about to get up out of here in one second. Yes, we are. We about to get out of here in a few minutes. So come on, Kanita. Talk to me about it. Come on in here and talk to us with it. You know, stick your chest out. Say what it is. You know? <laughs> Say you hate when they're insecure with themselves and they take you out. Or they take it out on you. Say this Danny DeVito looking narc. Wow, I hate his energy and I feel the hate. I'm with you on that, man. Hey, y'all. Listen, we jumping out. Thanks for coming through, though. Again, you know, this was an incredible session as usual. Y'all remember, a narcissist only knows one kind of math, and that is division. 
and everything that goes on the entire relationship that's all it's going to be about division can i that's say, it i want to say this real quick i learned yesterday that a lot of us wanted to see them get karma or we want to see it in any other form mm -hmm. y'all karma is not what y'all think and it's not us and it's not the next person say it again karma, not what you think it's not us and it's not the next person it's downtime Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. girl you is you are a force to be reckoned with in here <laughs> yes indeed we be thinking that we gonna do this to them and do that to them and that's gonna be their karma wrong we do not know their perfect punishment y'all yep. god does yep. <laughs> just back away that's all Hey, thanks everybody for coming in and joining us tonight, man. We're going to check y'all out. You know China going to be back in here on Friday night stomping the yard. So we getting ready for that. All right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> thanks again. Hey, safe travels. Keep on doing what you're doing. Thank and you. hey, guys, y'all put some peace and love in the chat. And I'm going to leave you as I usually do with some love, peace, and soul train. See y'all on Wednesday night, guys, nine o'clock. Be there, or B square. How about that? <laughs> old school. We still old school.